I was coming off of a three day weekend from my six to five job and I felt like I hadn't done enough. So I thought of how I could take advantage of the beautiful California weather and make this Monday count. Then it came to me. I could shoot the bow I bought for a previous video, but I didn't have anything to safely shoot in my backyard. So naturally I checked to see if the range is open and to my dismay, they were closed all day, leaving me with only one option. I had to build my own. Hi. All I'm gonna need is about five sheets of insulation foam, two sheets of plywood, and two tie-down straps. And that'll be it. The problem with this is the sheets of foam and plywood are eight by four, and I'm talking feet. And um, this is my car. I definitely can't fit that in my car. So we're gonna take my dad's diesel. I can barely see over the steering wheel. 10-4, little buddy, and route to destination. Home Depot, here I come. The plywood is going to be used for the backstop to prevent any stray arrows. The foam is going to be used for the backstop as well as building the target, and these ratchet straps are gonna hold it all together. Did I anticipate spending $350? Absolutely not. Did I spend $350? Absolutely. With a new hole in my wallet, I arrived home and started unloading. <sighs> Luckily, I move stuff like this for a living, but it's still hard work, which is why you should subscribe to help me retire from work early and just make videos for the rest of my life. Pretty soon, this is going to be a home archery range. Step one was to cut three of the sheets of foam in half. I thought I had a box cutter here, but I don't, so I just gotta use dirty razor Blade. This worked, but it wasn't very kind to my fingertips. Oh, yes. Beautiful. <laughs> Despite spending double what I wanted to and my increasingly sore fingertips, my spirits were high and I was excited for the outcome. I'm actually so stoked that I'm going to be able to do archery whatever I want. I got to cut each of these into four pieces, strap it together, boom, archery target. Heading into step two, I realized simple does not equal easy. One down, 23 more to go. This part's gonna be a little bit more time consuming than I thought, but we got this. Gonna see if this shiny colorful knife does a better job, cause that other freaking razor blade sucks, man. Nice. Oh, I found the ticket, dude. That broke so easy. With the knife problem solved, I powered through cutting all 24 of the pieces I needed, eager to see if this design would actually work. Because I've only seen someone make a simpler version of this on YouTube, and I got this idea from a comment on that video. It made sense to me, but this is definitely a pricey experiment. For the third and final step, all I had to do was stack up the foam and strap it all together. But the straps didn't quite reach, so I took some layers off, which is fine, because that's saves me money on repairs later on. As much as I want to put an arrow in this just to see how good it does already, I don't think I can safely do that until I build my backstop, so I guess we'll do all that boring stuff first. Eager to start shooting, I quickly attached the remaining sheets of foam to the plywood of some screws and metal plates I had lying around, and then at long last, it was time. I just built an archery range in my backyard. I've wanted to be able to shoot archery at home since I started, and now I can, assuming it works. Sorry. This is actually extremely nerve-wracking, dude. All I gotta do is hit the target, that's it. Yes! <laughs> Perfect! It didn't even go all the way through! <laughs> the target worked great, and when I tested the backstop, it was completely safe. I had truly built myself a backyard archery range and can now practice one of my favorite hobbies anytime I wanted. When you get an extra day off... Oh, so good! That was such a good group! Don't waste it.